footballer and now poker legend Tony Cascarino, well previous footballer I should say. Tony, how are you enjoying Monte Carlo? Um, well, I, I love it. I, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to play uh, football in the south of France in Marseille, which is only two hours away. Um, Monte Carlo is a special place for me as well because it's uh, my first dinner date with my wife uh, oh. that I'm with now. So I've got a lot of good souvenirs from Monte Carlo. How did you meet her? Uh, I saw a number on a telephone box. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, no, we met, uh, we met in a hotel. She was on holiday and uh, I was there just being alone, chilling out. Got talking. She happened to speak quite good English. Then met up and uh, she invited. She, she actually came from Nice, which is just down the road. Yeah. And um, said, come for some lunch. And uh, our first lunch was in, uh, in the Café de Paris in Monte Carlo. So you're a regular here then? No, this no, I wish I was. I'm not, I'm fortunate enough, I'm not wealthy enough to come and live in, uh, <laughs> or stay regularly in Monte Carlo. Yeah, I have to say, it's a little bit of shock. A 20 euro burger, <laughs> and it didn't even come with chips. Oh, it's my first time here, so. Uh, it's a special place. It certainly is. Yeah. Anyway, onto the poker. So you played yesterday. What, yeah. You've got through. What, what's your chip count? Um, I'm low. I got, I got through, uh, I got 12,000. So I've got a little bit of play. Um, delighted to get through. It's really long. I mean, it's a fantastic structure because it was so slow. It gave you lots of time to try and play. Um, I think, you know, this, I've still got time to, tomorrow when I come yeah. back. I'm, I'm delighted to get through. I, I know lots of people talk about having great chip counts, but I think a lot of it is trying to get the, to the lower numbers before you, you really try to get too concerned. Because what are the blinds when, you, when it comes two back four, tomorrow? Two four with a running ante of 50. Um, so you've still got plenty of time? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've got a bit of time. Um, try and pick me spots and hopefully double up a couple of times. Uh, I was in a position in Ireland uh, a year ago where... I came back and won the first two hands and had over 40,000 after two hands in a similar position. So, you know, it could happen again. Now, you actually you used to play for Ireland, didn't you? Or you played once in the World Cup. But Once. I played 88 times for Ireland. <laughs> oh, what? oh, OK. That, that's my football uh, knowledge. <laughs> yeah, it was more than, more than once. It was 88 times I was capped. But um, you're not actually from Ireland, are you? Are you... No, I was born in England. Uh, my mum and her family are from Mayo. My mum was adopted. Um, I found out she was adopted after 66 appearances for Ireland, so it's a long story. She was ado adopted by an English family, but because under the adoption uh, law you yeah. can uh, qualify, so I've got an Irish passport. I, you know, it was a very, it was more difficult for my mum at the time going back when she first found out because she found out her, her parents weren't her natural parents. Oh, which, she, she didn't know herself. No, she didn't so know. She didn't know until my granddad died, who was from from Mayo. Um, and, and you know that's how the story goes and uh, but my mum still stayed me the same and my granddad still stayed the same so you know still you who you are so. yeah yeah exactly so you my understanding you, you retired from football in when 2000 was that? 2000 yeah and then how did you get into poker well it's quite a long story but I, I try and catch you in, in France you could when I finished my football career you uh, obviously I was unemployed and in England there's no, if, you, if you've got a certain amount of assets and you've got a certain amount of income you, you can't claim unemployment, but in France they have a platform and you get it on a basis of your wages, what you're earning, so I was getting quite a good salary being unemployed yeah. uh, but on the, on the flip side of that, it allowed me to go and take a year off and play poker every day and I lost quite a bit of money and then but that money invest, was an investment really because it taught me how to play the game properly uh, but it was a costly year but Given that opportunity that, you know, to be unemployed and get still a decent income allowed me to go and do what I love. It's a game I've always loved. How did, how did you learn over that year? Did you read By losing. <laughs> you you learn by yourself. losing. Well, yeah, you, you know, you've got to learn quickly. If you don't improve and get decent at the game, you, uh, and you'll be a fish, uh, you know, at the table, and you'll be regular losing. And, um, and that was happening to me quite often early on. Uh, but I learned and got better, and now I play and... And since then, I've been able to recover my losses and, and, and show a, a pretty healthy profit. So are there any comparisons you can draw between football and poker at all? Um, I think it's, you know, there's no... Mentally, it's very tiring, poker. It, you know, 14-hour day like I had yesterday, it's very draining. Um, I think it does help to be physically in pretty decent shape because, you know, it's so tiring. And, um, I mean, don't guarantee... You know, the luck side of it is a big element of poker, but... I think trying to be disciplined, at the end of my career I was very disciplined as a footballer, I think you have to be at times in poker instead of being quite reckless. So between now and tomorrow, what are you going to do to relax? Chill out all day. Chill out. Um, I've had lunch in a, in a nice fish restaurant, um, going to profit this beautiful weather we got and go and have a look around the town. 
although I've done it before, go and visit the same boats and say that boat's Mr. So-and-so's and that, you know, it's just an incredible place. You've got yeah. to profit when you're here. You don't get, you know, this is the, the pinnacle of any European event to play a, a grand final in, uh, in Monte Carlo. Well, thank you very much. Go and enjoy yourself. I will do. Show me some boats. <laughs> <laughs> now, you should be on the beach enjoying yourself. Yeah, I, I want to be. <laughs> Cheers. Good luck.